The time required for an automotive center to complete an oil change service on an automobile approximately follows a normal distribution with a mean of 19 minutes and a standard deviation of two minutes. If the automotive center guarantees the customer, customers that the service will take no longer than 20 minutes, and if it does, the customer will receive the service at half price. What percent of its customers receive the service for half price? So we're going to build our model to describe oil change times. So the random variable x represents the time to complete the oil change. We have a mean time of 19 minutes. And where are my inflection points going to occur at? 17, one standard deviation below the mean. 21, one standard deviation above the mean. In this particular problem, we want to know the proportion of oil changes that are going to last longer than 20 minutes because we want to know what proportion of customers are going to get half off. So the area of that shaded region is what we're looking for, yes? And so we can do this by hand by converting to a z-score. And then we would go to our table and find the area left of that z-score. And to find this area, we would subtract that result from, from 1. Instead, what we're going to do is go into stat crunch. There she is. Oh, wait, I, can, I got my calculator right there. So the mean was 19. The standard deviation was 2. And we want to know the probability greater than 20. That's the same as the proportion greater than 20. Hit compute, and we get our result. So my answer is 0.3085. Oh, they want it as a percent. So that is 30.85%. And we could enter that in here. Part B, if the automotive center does not want to give a discount to more than 3% of its customers, how long should it make the guaranteed time limit? So here in part B, again, we can use our normal model to help us answer the question. Oh, that's a really bad one. Let's see, the mean is 19. And we want to only give this discount to 3% of the customers. So what do you think that means? 12.03. Where would 0.03 go? Oh no, I don't want you to. I want. I want to know what my model is going to look like. Well, let me ask you this: If I set my time here, do you think that that would mean I give my discount to three percent of the customers? Well, what percent of my cu customers are going to have an oil change of 19 minutes or less? Let me ask a different question. What's the area under the normal curve to the left of the mean? 0 0.5. 50% this way, 50% that way. So if I establish my cutoff here and give discounts to any time bigger than whatever this x is, am I going to be humped? Am I going to be giving discounts to less than 50% or more than 50%? Well, if my oil change is bigger than X, they get a discount, correct? So it's going to be 50% of the there plus this area. So it's going to be well over 50% are going to get a discount. Agree? So do you think that my value for cutting for oil change time should be this value. Heck no, I would lose my shirt. All right? So again, with that idea in mind, 
I want to give a discount. Well, I don't want to, but I'm going to give a discount to 3% of my customers based on an oil change that takes too long because you're ticked off that you're in the waiting room and you got things to do. So I'm going to start here and you tell me where you think I should stop to mark for my model. For 3% get a discount, meaning 97% don't. Here we go. Stop here. Right around here is going to be my cutoff, some unknown X, and then I'll shade this area here. What should that area be? 0.03, meaning this area over here is 0.97. Those folks in this region, no discount. Over here, discount. So we want to find the value of x such that the area to the right is 0.03. If we're doing this by hand, we have to go into our table, look for an area closest to 0.97, find the z value that corresponds to an area of 0.97, and then use this x equals mu plus z sigma formula. All right? If we're going to do this in stat crunch, we enter, or I got our mean and our standard deviation in there. And we could do this one of two ways. If I type in 0.97, I would want probability less than. And I get 22.76. See that? Or I could type in 0.03 over here and do probability greater than. And I get the same thing, 22.76. Seven, six. Either way, I'm going to establish as my cutoff for three oil changes at 22.76 minutes, which is kind of a bizarre value, but it sounds cool, right? It's a marketing ploy of sorts, right, if you think about it. Your oil change is not done in 22 minutes and 45.3 seconds, you get a 50% discount. All right? Now, wouldn't you say you'd be sitting there in the waiting room watching your watch, wouldn't you? Of course you would. I like this ploy. Let's make sure we're right. What did I say? 20, round to the nearest integer. Oh, they want 23 minutes. That's boring. I like our 22.76 minutes. How did I get to 22.76? Okay. This area right here is 0 0.03. Okay. So what we're doing here is looking for the cutoff, the X value, such that the area to the right is 0 0.03, or another way to think about it, the area to the left is 0 0.97. Meaning 97% of the folks getting an oil change are not going to get a discount, then 3% will. So, yes, what you would have to do, we might as well do this for fun. So, yeah, if we're doing this by hand, I got to go to my normal table. Sorry for the size here. In this table, we look for an area closest to 0.97. Okay, so 0.97, 0.9. There, I got 0.9699 right there, and that corresponds to a Z value of 1.88. See, it's in the 1.8 row, okay? And the second to last column, I think, is 0.08, yes. So the Z value is 1.88. And so I would say that X equals mu is 19 plus z is 1.88 times sigma is 2. Is that right? And what does that all work out to? Hey, same thing. And that's minutes.